Welcome to this lesson on two-way frequency tables. A two-way frequency table is a table that displays the relationship between the data of two different variables. And that's also called bivariate data. Relative frequency is the number of times something occurs divided by the total. And that can be written as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. So let's look at an example. So Mr. Stanford asked the students in his class if they studied for the test or not. And then he recorded how many students passed the test and how many failed. He organized the data into this two-way frequency table. All right, so here we have students that studied. Here we have students that did not study. Here we had students that passed and students that failed. And then the total number of students in his class is 30. Okay, so let's answer these questions. So how many students studied? So we're gonna look just at the studied row. That would be 15 total. How many students failed? That would be here. So 17 students total failed. All right, how many students did not study and they failed the test? So they didn't study and they failed. That would be here at 14. What percentage of students did not study? Okay, so 15 did not study out of 30 total students. So that would be one half or 50%. What percentage of students passed the test? So 13 passed out of 30 students. So I'm gonna divide 13 by 30 and I get 0.43 or 43%. Out of the students that passed the test, what percentage studied? So be careful with the wording on this one. So out of the students that passed the test, we're only worried about these. What percentage studied? So 12 studied out of 13 that passed the test. So 12 divided by 13, that gives us 0.92 or about 92%. What is the relative frequency of students who studied and passed the test? So relative frequency is just another way to say, what is the percentage of students who studied and passed the test? So studied and passed studied and passed that would be 12 out of 30 so 12 out of 30 now you can leave that as a fraction but you must reduce it so that's going to reduce to two-fifths you can change it to a decimal so 2 divided by 5 that's 0 0.4 or you can write it as a percentage so move the decimal twice to the right 40 percent so relative frequency, you can see it in any of those um, forms. So make sure you know how to write it in all three as a fraction, a decimal, or a percentage. What is the relative frequency of students who failed the test? Okay, so failed, that would be 17 out of 30. You can't reduce that any. So let's change it. 0.57 if we round it or about 57 percent number nine is there an association between studying for the test and passing the test so studying and passing it looks like out of those that studied 12 passed and three failed so it looks like if you study it's more likely that you will pass according to this data, and probably in real life too. <laughs> yes, studying seems to mean passing. And then number 10, is this statement always true? If a student studies, they will pass the test. Well, of course we know in the real world, not always true. 
and we can see right here three failed so no all right let's try another example so 20 freshmen and 20 sophomores were surveyed about their pets 13 sophomores said they had dogs out of the 20 freshmen nine had cats fill out the two-way frequency table below and then answer the questions so we know there are 20 freshmen and 20 sophomores which means 40 total 13 sophomores had dogs which means there's seven left over for cats and then out of the 20 freshmen nine had cats which means there were 11 that liked dogs and then let's add across so the total number that liked dogs were 24 the total number that liked cats were 16 and make sure that these add to give you 40. Okay, so how many 10th graders have cats? How many sophomores have cats? That would be seven. How many students own dogs? That's going to be 24. How many freshmen own dogs? So freshmen that own dogs, that's 11. What percentage of students own cats? So 16 students own cats out of 40 students total. So we need to divide here, 16 divided by 40. And you get 0.4 or 40%. Be careful, that's not 4%, it's 40. What percentage of students surveyed were in the ninth grade? So 20 were freshmen out of 40 total, and we know that's 50%, so half. What is the relative frequency of ninth grade dog owners? Okay, so that would be here. Ninth grade dog owners, 11 out of 40. Remember, make sure you can write this as a decimal, a fraction, or a percent. So here is my fraction. I can't reduce that. Let's change it to a decimal, so about 0.28 or about 28%. And you can round differently if you want or if your teacher requires you to round differently, that's fine. Out of the sophomores, what is the relative frequency of owning a cat? Okay, so be careful with the wording here. We're only talking about the sophomores. And owning a cat, there's seven, so seven out of 20. That doesn't reduce, but I can change it to a decimal and a percent. Is there an association between grade levels and pet choices? There doesn't seem to be a, any huge trends. Freshmen are about half and half, 11 like dogs and nine like cats. And sophomores, they're pretty close together too, 13 and seven. There doesn't seem like a huge majority. So there doesn't seem to be. Which pet choice is most popular? That would be dogs, 24 like dogs and 16 like cats. Is this statement always true? A 10th grader is more likely to own a dog. Well, at this school and out of these 40 students, yes, but in general, we don't know. There's not enough data to support that, so not necessarily. Alright, go ahead and stop the video now and complete your practice.